Hello, my name is Mike Schneider and I am a solutions engineer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. In this video, I'll be going over HPE GreenLake's intent-based provisioning to demonstrate just how easy it is for an application administrator, in this case a Microsoft SQL DBA, to provision their own volumes even with minimal knowledge of how the storage backend works. So how many times has this happened before? An application needs more space, the application admin would put in a request to the storage admin asking for specifically configured volumes that needed to be provisioned immediately. The storage administrator would have to jump on the storage array, start creating volumes and export them to the host. And this is already on top of the other functions storage administrators have to deal with, such as data virtualization, hyper-converged infrastructure, hybrid cloud and storage networks. But what if you could skip all that? and have your application administrator, who may only have minimal knowledge of the storage backend, be able to deploy volumes they need while also having them optimized automatically to fit the workload type. This is where HPE GreenLake's intent-based provisioning comes in. So to start out, your application manager would be given specific permissions within DSCC to create and deploy their own volumes. Here I'll select the intent-based provisioning button and will automatically be taken to the volume creation menu. The first thing to do is select our storage tier. We'll use the Electra 5000, which is a general purpose cost-efficient array, but is still guaranteed by HPE for six nines of availability. Next, we'll choose the type of workload these volumes will be optimized for. There is a wide range of workloads that come pre-built into HPE storage arrays, including VMware, Hyper-V, Veeam, and Oracle. But in this case, we'll be using the Microsoft SQL workload type. One thing to notice is that below the workload you selected, you can see the details about the data reduction method it uses. Here, we'll name our volumes so that they can be easily identified and create two 30 gigabyte volumes. The host group that these volumes will be accessed from would already have been created by your DSCC administrator, and this host group would contain the SQL host that we're adding these volumes to. As an application administrator, you'd only have permissions to your specific host group, which is named SQL-2022-HG in this example. Another thing to note is that volumes cannot be presented directly to a host, only to a host group. Finally, we'll select the protection policy. These are array-based snapshots for your volumes, and I'll go with daily for this example. On the system screen, we're presented with the recommended arrays that met our volume criteria. We've already picked the Electra 5000, but if there was more than one array to choose from, we'd be able to see that here. In this screen, we can see the volume set name that was automatically created. This is also where you can change your locations if any are configured and also edit LUN information or protection policy schedules if needed. We don't have any changes to make here, so we'll continue. This is the final review screen. If the information looks correct, click on submit to finalize your volumes. Once the volumes have been created, the new volume set will now show up here in the storage menu. You can select it to see the details of the volumes, in our case, the two SQL volumes we created and that they have been automatically exported to the host group. Here we'll jump to our SQL Server host. From disk management, we can see the two new volumes that were just created. We'll go ahead and initialize and format them. Let's open SQL Server Management Studio now and add a database to our new volumes. Now the new databases are running on the block volumes we provisioned using intent-based provisioning with snapshot protection provided by the Electra storage array. So by managing this host through HPE GreenLake, you can see just how easy it is for a SQL administrator to create their own application volumes from one setup screen. From selecting an array and performance profile that matches their application requirements, to having the volumes automatically created and exported to the host group and protected by snapshots. It is a simple and quick process that completely bypasses traditional requests for storage. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.